Okay, so we've got the calculus tutorial sheet that we just want to answer. So it's focusing on continuity, definition of the limits, or to specifically the definition of derivatives. So if we check, first one, this piecewise function, then um, we're trying to focus on the aspect of continuity. As you can see, most of the questions are asking about that. And then using the definition definition of the derivative, that is the first, the first principles, we need to calculate the derivatives of the following functions. And then in the following, find the indicated derivatives, differentiate. So all these questions are basically answered in this video. So we'll start with the first question. Okay. So this is a piecewise function. Now if you look at the questions that we're given, the first one says, is the function continuous at x is equal to negative 1? Is it continuous at x is equal to 1? What values of x is the function continuous? What value should be assigned to a function to make the extended function continuous at x is equal to 2? So, at the end of this question, you understand what it means for a function to be continuous. So, to just help you understand and analyze whatever we are talking about, I'll sketch the function that we've been given. Alright? So, let's come up with the x, y plane, just there. Now let's try to analyze the domain that we have and break it down. So we have from negative 1 to 0. So let's come up with negative 1. You can put negative 1 there. And then we can have a 0 there. And then we are going all the way up to 3. Right? 3 is the maximum number. So you can say 1, 2, 3. Since that if you can make it a bit bigger, extend a bit. 1, 2, and 3. That's good. Okay. So, that's what we have. Now, we can try to sketch. So, for the first one, the function we have is a quadratic function moving from negative 1 to 0. Okay. So, you can come up with a table of values first. So, f of x and then value of x. Alright. So, we have negative 1. 0, 1, 2, 3. This is just a rough one, very fast one. Okay? So, for negative 1, the function that applies is this quadratic function. So, instead of putting it a quadratic function, I'll call it a quadratic equation because the function is only 1. Okay? So, negative 1 is included because of less than or equal to x part. So, if you put negative 1 in that equation negative 1 squared is 1 minus 1 to give us a 0 so that tells us that we are starting at that point negative 1 comma 0 and then of course you can out of curiosity you can try the number between negative 1 and 0 which is of course negative half negative half squared is positive 1 over 4 minus a 1 so I believe that is going to give us negative 3 over 4 negative 3 over 4. So if we say our n is somewhere here, then we expect it to be somewhere 3 quarters below. So we can say almost there. And then of course if you put a 0 there, just to estimate where it's going to end, of course 0 is not supposed to be included. So if you put a 0 there, it will give you negative 1. So at negative 1, it is not necessarily continuous. So just say function is moving like this okay it's moving like that so at this point it is not continuous so that is at take note this is at negative one okay and then you can continue then the other part is also starting from zero but zero is also not included so we can just put there, we can just estimate for the sake of. So if you try to put a 0 in the 2x, it will give us a 0. So it's like that one is at 0, 0, but it's also not continuous, okay? That's very important to understand. So I'll use brew for that. Uh, so something like that. And then that one is a straight line, so it's 2x. So we can also try to put one 
If we put a 1 there, it's going to give us a 2. Right? So 1 will give us a 2. So let's say this is 1, and then that is 2. So we're getting a 2. Now, it is not continuous, because 1 is also not included, unless there's a dash down there in, in getting equal to. So, and that is a straight line. So it's going to be like that. And then from there, the next part is x is equal to 1. This is as x is equal to 1. So that is a function. In fact, that is y is equal to 1. So we just have like a dot. So it's existing at this point. So that one is, in, is existent. So shade inside. And then we are starting again from 1, but 1 is not part. So this is a, a linear equation. So if you plug in a 1, where is negative 2? To be negative 2 plus 4 giving us uh, a 2, right? So 2. So 1, comma 2. So it's also starting from that point, but also not continuous. And then it's also a straight line. So you can try the next point, which is 2. If you put a 2 there, it will be negative 4 plus 4, giving us a 0. So it's moving like this. It's a straight line. Now, is it existent at 2? If we check at 2 again, we are seeing that at 2, 2 is not part of. So we we'll just draw a circle there to just indicate that it's not continuous at that point. Okay, so not continuous. And then <coughs> from there, again, the last function as well is not continuous. 2 is not part of it. And then it's moving, it's f is equal to 0. So the y is equal to 0 is the x-axis itself. So it's moving all the way up to 3. But 3 as well is not part. So even at 3 as well, we need to be very careful and show that it's not continuous. Like that. Knowing that is 3. And then for the sake of just showing, I can use a different color along the x-axis to show that the function continued like that. Okay, so we finally now sketch the entire function on the graph. And then I can remove this so that we have enough space to answer. And then remove all those things that we are helping us. <coughs> okay, there we are. So, I can also make this one a bit clearer. So here what we had is we had negative 1, and then we had negative 1 there as well, and then of course here it's a quadratic, so it moved a bit like, started from there, and then moved like that. At this point it's not continuous, very important, okay, because at 0, is not but okay so I think we have it on the graph now so we can now try to answer bit by bit so the first one says is f continuous at negative 1 so what does it mean for a function to be continuous so for a function to be continuous it means um, before I talk about the formal definitions under calculus for a function to be continuous it means the function exists at that point and then the limit also exists so when the function at a given point, uh, let's say at the point C, f of C, when it is equal to the limit of a function as x approaches C, when the limit at that point and the value of a function are equal, a function is said to be continuous. Okay? So what that does what does that mean? So in this case, if you try to assess that point. You can see that I've shaded inside, which indicates that the function is what? The function is existing at that point. So we can say f of negative 1 is equal to what? If you substitute in that equation, even from the graph, you can tell that it's what? It's equal to a 0. Now, what is the limit 
as x approaches negative 1 for that function for a function it's also equal to what negative 1 because if you come from the left of course on the left you don't have anything but since you're coming from the left it will just be at that point itself it's already existing then coming from the right using this curve we are reaching negative 1 so are we reaching negative 1 so we are reaching 0 I mean to say we are reaching 0 because we are putting the y value so since these are equal we are we can confidently answer the first one to say the function is continuous yes because f of negative 1 is equal to the limit as x approaches negative 1 they are all equal to 0 so we've answered the first one we can go to the next one is a function continuous at x is equal to 1 so why is x is equal to 1 there we are so what is a function at that point f of 1 is what so it's existing at that point it's also equal to 1 now what is the limit so the limit as x approaches 1 so we start from the negative side from the negative side we observe where the function is so this is the negative part of 1 so as we approach 1 the function is reaching that point it's up it's going towards what it's going towards 2 so what is the limit from the negative side from the positive side which is this one before 1 after 1 so it's also coming towards the same point as it reaches 1 so it's also equal to that so which is also equal to the limit as x approaches 1 from the positive side so since that is the case we can clearly say that the entire limit itself the limit becomes x as x approaches 1 is just equal to 2 so now if you check the two are they the same no they are not so the function is clearly not continuous because the limit is not equal to the function at that given point so this one is a no now at what values of x is the function continuous so we can clearly indicate the points where it is discontinuous so we'll just come up with a set to describe that in you so we can clearly see that point at that point if the function is continuous so since negative one since it is part we'll say from negative one i'll use that bracket under set theory all the way up to that is zero now zero is not at zero it is not continuous as we can see because we've not shaded inside so it's not so we'll combine that with again the function is continuous again from between zero all the way up to one but one at one itself it is not continuous as we saw and then union again between these two points again that is from one to two function is continuous but they are both not part and then again it is continuous between two and three again two and three are not part so that's why i'm using the curve bracket so we can see that from the domain only one only negative one itself is part and also the points where we are seeing the line continuous that is the point those are the points where the function is said to be continuous okay so i believe you understand what that means now so take note of that we are now on the second from the last question which is d um, what values should be assigned to f of 2 to make the extended function continuous at x is equal to 2 so why is x is equal to 2 so x is equal to 2 is this part okay so x is equal to 2 so what can we say about x is equal to 2 the function f of 2 itself is equal to what f of 2 does not exist as you can see from the graph f of 2 does not exist okay does not exist then what are the what's the limit so the limit as x approaches 2 from the left and the right hand side they are all coming towards this very point which is a zero right so if we want the 
if we want the limit to be if we want the function to be continuous at that point then the function of f of 2 should also become equivalent to what to the limit so it should also become equal to the limit of the function as x approaches 2 of course i need to indicate f of x which is equal to what zero so a function of a value of f2 at x is equal to 2 should also become what should become zero so that it is equal to the limit then the function is going to become continuous at that point as well because as it as it stands the limit is equal to zero but the, the function itself does not exist because it is not defined so the function become continuous thereafter and then finally the last one says to what new value should f1 be changed to remove the discontinuity to what value should f of 1 be changed to remove the discontinuity what does that mean what does that mean so if you look at f1 you can clearly see that the function itself at f f1 is 1 okay the limit we saw clearly in fact this is what i indicated here the limit as x approaches 1 from the both the positive and negative side is equal to a 2 as we can see they are all approaching 2 from the left and the right okay as x approaches 1 it's equal to 2 now to what new value should f of 1 be changed to remove the discontinuity so we are changing the value of a function so we can only change the value of a function for it to be continuous it's supposed to be equal to the limit so just like we saw previously from the previous question we'll do the same here so a function value would have to become to go, would have to go to that point then the function become continuous at that point or the discontinuity to be removed so f of one is supposed to be equal to two as well if we are to remove the discontinuity at that point okay so this is where we end with question one so um, you can actually access all you can access all these questions as you register on our site so use the link in the description to have access to all the solutions under calculus and also the next tutorial sheet which talks about differentiation in detail and integration thanks very much for watching